What is up YouTube tool tubers of the world my name is Brad welcome to the workbench today I'm going to take you through my top five favorite power tools this time from Harbor Freight I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody if you're coming here expecting to see a bunch of cordless tools get that out of your head I don't believe Harbor Freight has any cordless tools that are worth their money they may be good I don't know I haven't used them the deals just aren't there for me. These are my top five tools that I've used personally. I can't judge other ones. So if you have tools that you think should be on this list, leave a comment down below. And these are in no particular order. But my first one is going to be heat guns. I love the Harbor Freight heat guns. I started out with this super cheap Drill Master one because I only use a heat gun maybe five or six times a year max. So for $10, this one is great two speeds high and low and it's actually held up pretty good i've had this about a year and a half now and still pretty happy with it a viewer sent me the bower to use he said that uh he bought it on a sale he really didn't need it he wanted to support the channel and wanted me to take a look at it and i'm kind of glad he did because it's got three different fan speeds on the back it's got a variety of temperature settings it is a step above the drill master but either one of these, if you're just at home, are going to get the job done. All right, next up, if you watch my coupon videos, you've seen me recommend this tool every time it pops up for sale. Because it goes on sale for 30 bucks all the time. And that is the electric die grinder. This is a Chicago electric, so you still can use a 20% coupon on it. I don't know what I used to do before I got this tool. You put a carbide burr in here and... I mean, you're just a metal working machine. Get you a good double cut carbide bird, put it in this bad boy and, and just go to town. Now, I don't think this would hold up professionally because the shaft here gets pretty warm huh? when you're using it. I mean, it heats up pretty quick. Uh, but for me at home, if I need to widen a hole, if I need to maybe take a burr off or I'm doing any kind of metal working that needs either close quarters or a fine touch, this is my go-to. Secondary use is they have wood carving burrs. If you're at home and you don't have a big old compressor to power a pneumatic die grinder, no longer need it. I've had this one probably about a year now and used it probably about a dozen times. For 30 bucks, I don't think you can beat it. Check it out when it goes on sale. I think it's worth having. My next favorite power tools from Harbor Freight are angle grinders now i had this bower which was again sent to me to try out to test to see how i like it i love it i also have the drill master which is weak but has its place i think and then you also have the big old chicago electric seven inch angle grinder i've used the dewalt seven inch nine inch angle grinder this doesn't have the power the dewalt does but sometimes you need that extra reach with a seven inch disc even a nine inch disc you can put on here without the guard. And uh, this will give it to you. It won't slice through things like a Dewalt or a real quality one will, but it'll get the job done. The Bauer for a four and a half inch. Now, again, the style of angle grinder is gonna be up to you. I like the rat tail. I don't like this to be my only angle grinder. Maybe you can see in the background, I've got like four on the wall. I've got two more in a storage cabinet. I got this one, I got the nine inch. I like angle grinders. They're very versatile tools. And I don't like to change discs. So if I'm in a metalworking job, I'll put a flap disc on one, a heavy duty grinding disc on another, maybe a cutting wheel on another, whatever I happen to be needing at the time. And I'll just fucking grab the grinder I need. For cutting, which is why you see a cutting wheel on here, I think a rat toe grinder is, it's just, it's what I prefer. And this Bauer one has held up great so far. Harbor Freight angle grinders, I haven't had any trouble, even with the cheapo drill master, other than it being underpowered. But it's ten dollars you know what do you expect and sometimes when you're doing those jobs that are a little sketchy with an angle grinder it's not going to rip out of your hand because the drill master doesn't have a ton of power to rip out of your hand just my two cents on that. all right my next two tools are a little too big for me to hold up here in front of you so i'm just going to shoot up pictures believe me i have both of these tools one's at work it's a, it's a company tool one's here at home and first up, we'll talk about the mini wood lathe from Harbor Freight. I love this thing. It's modeled after the jet wood lathe, an older jet wood lathe. And many companies rebrand this wood lathe. The small one, 
I think I got it for around 200 bucks with the coupon. Before Central Machinery got put on the excluded items list, I went ahead and picked it up. And then I quickly upgraded to the bigger wood lathe. Now, the bigger wood lathe I'm having some issues with. Maybe I'll do a review once I use it a little more. But the 10 by 18 Harbor Freight wood lathe, I loved it. I still love it. I just don't use it as often. If you're thinking about getting into wood turning, that's a great lathe to start with. My last item is the bench top belt sander. That's terrible. No, no, not that one. The big 6x48 belt sander. That's not terrible. We had this at work. The base is kind of shitty, really. But the actual belt, the platen of it, the disc on it, it's all pretty damn quality. If there was one complaint I had about the upper half of it, it's that the disc doesn't quite run true. That comes with cheap, crappy machining. You know, you're not buying a high quality tool. But the belt part of it, like the 4x36, I can bury a piece of wood or metal and stop the belt. 6x48, you're gonna get that thing ripped out of your hand. It's happened to me. So the 6x48 Harbor Freight belt sander definitely makes the list for my top five power tools from Harbor Freight. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed my top five power tools from Harbor Freight. Yes, I know there's no cordless tools. I talked about that at the beginning. I just don't believe in the Harbor Freight cordless lines yet. If you have a Harbor Freight power tool that you've used extensively, let us know in what setting and why you like it in the comment section below. And don't forget, we also have my top five favorite shop supplies. And to end this series, we're going to talk about the worst tools from Harbor Freight. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on those videos. Until next time, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down there. And we'll holler at y'all next time. Peace! Whoo, it's hot with no air going in here. This goddamn chair out of my way. Go on now. Shoo! Hey. Stay. And yes, I know I look like a bum. I figured if I can't get a haircut, I might as well just go full bum status. My wife loves it.